the hunt for a secret rare DCE continues. Again, we're gonna do two boxes because, you know, uh, we need to make sure we find it a little bit faster. And reminder, as always, what we do in this series is we're gonna open boxes until we find a secret rare DCE. Ah, let's put that right there. And every box we open we do not find, that's what those cards are. We're gonna add at least one ultra rare. I'm gonna take these out still from the box, add it into the pool right there, and then when I find the DCE, that video will become, ooh, Garbodor, I'm gonna put that aside as well, a giveaway video, and I'll give away everything that's in the pool and the secret rare DCE. Alolan Nine Tails is what we start off with. Oh no, I need sleeves. I need sleeves. Uh, okay, and again, I get this question all the time. What sleeves do we use? These right here, KMC, Perfect fit. So you can pick them up off Amazon, which is what we do. You buy one pack, I think it's like five or six bucks for a pack, but then it's, I think, $10 for three packs, or you can buy the bricks that we buy like this. They're, I don't know. They're not much money, but that's, uh, that's what we use, and they're meant for double sleeving, which I don't see another sleeve anywhere. You put them in upside down, so it's got the opening here, and then you put it in a sleeve this way, and your cards are basically waterproof now. If someone spills some pop or something when you're playing, it'd have to go all the way down and then up. It's, they're, they're well worth it. They're, they're amazing. Hey look, Alter Myler Alter. So I highly recommend them. They don't make your deck that much thicker when you're playing, so they're not annoying or anything like that. And it's a good way just to, it's a good habit. Always keep them sleeved. So, the, so there you go, there you go. I try, I answer that question probably, I don't know, a couple times a day on Twitter alone. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, KMC, if you want to sponsor us, <coughs> I'd be open to that. Hala Full Art Trainer for our first wild card of the box. Does Guardians Rising still have, ooh, with some nicks up there. Guardians Rising is the set out of Sun and Moon that has the best print quality. The cards are in the best condition. And I'm wondering if it's still like that. But based on that Hala, oof. I, I don't know. I love Guardians Rising. Oh, Guardians Rising is, it's the new Roaring Skies. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I did. Actually, I've said that. I said that several months ago before Burning Shadows even came out. I love this set so much. And we're more than a quarter way through the box. Not much. I hope we don't open any Turntonator GXs because you know we're gonna randomly pick a Turntonator to throw into the pot. What is that? Lycanroc GX. And we don't want to have like 12 Turntonators in there. Ah, a little white mark on that, but not bad condition. Not bad. Guardians Rising, still doing awesome. Boop. Two normal GXs, one wild card, and a Toxapex GX coming out. So three GXs, another good condition. All right, looks like Guardians Rising is still in great condition. So this box owes us uh, one more GX and one full art, and then possibly one to three other wild cards, which is a full art trainer, a secret rare, or a hyper rare. Two aqua patches in a row. Aqua patch not performing as great as I thought it would, uh, but I still love it, so I'm gonna put them all aside. I should be doing it with all the choice bands. I don't know, I'm, I'm a little bit lazy. So yeah, it's, I think a lot of you know that about me. <laughs> if you don't, well, now you do. Okay, coming in. On the second stack here, Oricorio for our rare. And way of Lord, come on, box. Let's, let's pick it up a little bit, box. You could you could be doing so much better. Hey, look, there's a Turntonator, but not of the GX variety, so we're we're okay with that one. Ah, oh, <laughs> speaking of Turntonator, that is our full art. Oh, I hope I hope it doesn't get it added to the pool. It'd be kind of funny, though, to have two full art Turntonators in the pool. All right, there's plenty of packs left. This box, uh, again, quote-unquote, owes us. Hey, look, there's a place set of box patches. Another GX and, and and possibly some more wild cards. Whew, you never know what can happen, though. Boxes have been very weird lately. Turntonator GX! <laughs> oh, come on, Box of Guardians Rising. What are you doing? Well, at least if this gets added in, we have all three flavors of Turntonator GX. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. We got nine packs. There's got to be something in nine packs, right? We can't go nine packs in a row and get nothing. I mean, I guess you could, but that would be. Oof. Oof. Most card stores charge uh, three packs for $10. So you'd buy $30 worth of packs and get nothing? Oh, that'd be terrible. So come on, this. Come on, get, get, give us something here. Third away through the last nine packs. Haunch Crow, Low and Sand Slash. And this box doesn't quote unquote owe us anything else. Oh, ah, there we go. Tabulele and a reverse hollow choice band. Woo! All right. That makes up for the two Turntonators. <laughs> that definitely makes up for the two Turntonators. And that gives a Lele a chance to be in the pool. We, however, now have more than six cards, so rolling a die isn't easy. <sighs> I need to get like an eight sided die. And, uh, yeah. Well, whatever. We'll figure that out later. We'll figure that out later. All right. Mudsdale, Talonflame. Last pack. I don't care if there's anything in here. Well, I guess if you would have bought those uh, nine packs for $30, you would have been uh, in a good spot because you can't argue to buy nine packs for 30 bucks and pull a Tapula Lele GX. Let me get all those cards uh, out of my way here. And uh, this, <laughs> this turn to oh, turn to nanners. All right, so we're gonna shuffle these up. Don't worry, they are sleeved. And then I'm gonna pick one at random to add into the pool, and then open the second box. All right, uh, I want you all to look at this card, all these cards here, and I want you to focus in on a card. All right, are you focusing in on the card? This was the card you were focusing on. Bam, mind blown. Okay, Turntonator. There we go, also adding a Lycan Rock. Okay. One out of seven of you just had your mind blown. Six out of seven, you were like, that was a dumb trick, Darium. So in case you were wondering, the Lele was the first one. Not making it into the pool, but you never know with the second box. Let's get this one on open. These, this wrapping is super thick. So two. Turntonator full arts, a turntonator height. Ah, oh, this is insane. All right, no turntonators. Hashtag no turntonators. We, we need that mojo going on here because we don't want a play set of them in the prize pool, which is hilarious. Alter, alter, graveler. That uh, we don't have a normal turntonator GX in there. <laughs> alter, alter, graveler. Is it two packs in a row that was alter, alter, graveler? Ah, weird things. What is this one? This one is no. There, there's, there's nothing there. Nothing to see there. Moving along. All right, and we have Como O G X, full art. Already starting with a full art out of the box, and it's not. Boop. A Tartinator. So I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. Oricorio, Oricorio, two Oricorios there. My box all sorts of messed up. And what is this? That is a Metagross, also known as not a Turntonator. So that is a good thing. Get us another Lele. Oh, opening Lele's is whew, such a great feeling. Hey, look, there's a Turntonator, but, you know, not not of the GX variety. Hala, Mimikyu, and another Choice Band. If I, if I spot the Choice Band's Aqua Patches, I'll pull them out. If I don't, eh, no big deal. No, no big deal. I have... Several hundreds of each, literally several hundreds of each, just sort of sitting around. I mean, if Aqua Patch ever became, you know, the price of Dark Patch, I'd be able to like buy a car with it. Not gonna happen, but hey, hey, wishful thinking, right? We can all have wishful thinking. Definitely more the quarter way through. Drampal GX. So we have two GXs plus a full art GX out of this box. No wild cards yet. Boop. Most boxes have at least one wild card. Eh, Oricorio. I swear the Secret Rare DCE is... Whew, oh, what is that? That's a Sylveon GX. Extremely rare. Much more rare than the Secret Rare Ultra Ball, it feels. Boop. I remember, a box usually gives four GXs, a full art, and then one to three wild cards. We're not even halfway through the box. We already have three GXs plus a full art GX. We can double this in the next half. Ooh, that'd be awesome. All right, last pack on the right-hand side of the box. 
It is a Trashland Scarbador. Still pulling that out because I love that card. Starting on the left hand side. Lunala. All right, all right, come on. Let's hit a DCE. Let's do it so I can be like, you know what? Let's do the series again because uh, why not? What? I mean, why not? I like how Dan has opened a bunch of DCEs, uh, you know, not during this series, naturally, of course. What a wish cash and a uh, card that no one can pronounce. Yeah, I swear, no one. Not a single human alive. Victor Bell, a Lolan Geo dude. All right, box, it's time for you to start doing something. You uh, hit the ground running, Delmize, hello. And then you just kind of stop. So if you could stop stopping, that would be super sweet. Oh, Ricordio. Wow, all right, come on, box. Let's do it. Gudra. Hello rare. Hitting a dry spell, everyone. We're hitting a dry spell. Haunch Crow. Reverse Hollow. Blissey. Which is so... Oh no, it's a Pangora and a Lunala. Um Wow, okay, Box. You uh you're definitely waiting until the end, aren't you? What is that? That's a Como O and Reverse Hollow Aqua Patch. Not a bad pack, not a bad pack. So two Como Como ah, Como O's. I can speak. Boop. All right, we should have a wild card in these next seven packs. We should, we should, we should, we should. Hopefully, we just don't get a Turntonator in here. Oh, the Cordio Choice Ban. Come on, uh, get get off of me, piece of foil. Oh, this pack. Okay. All right. Ah, Como O. We have one of each. Como O. The regular GX, the full art, and the hyper rare. <laughs> could have been Lele Lele Lele. It, I'm just I'm just saying it could have been three Lele's and my head would have exploded from excitement. However, nah, it's three Komo's. Uh doesn't look likely that we're gonna be getting anything else out of this box. Trevenant. Uh, and come on. We can do it. Ray Quaza. Last pack, last chance. At least in this part, and it is a Vanillox. Whew, all right, let me move this stuff out of the way and see what we're going to be. I have no place to put all of this bulk. I'll just put it right there. You stay there for right now. What we're gonna be adding to the prize pool for when we do hit the, I, look, I was looking at the Lele and I'm like, when we hit the Tapu Lele, but no, that's not it. Well, there's a 50% chance it's gonna be a coma <laughs> Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna roll a die. On a roll of a six, I'll add that card and then plus one more. Ah, there we go. We're adding Sylveon. And the other one we're gonna add, it's gonna be a Como O. Como O GX. So these are mine and go home with me. And this is where we have the prize pool for if we actually ever end up hitting a Secret Rare DCE again. Want to help support the channel? Do you feel guilty using Adblock Plus on our videos? Ponder giving us just $1 a month on Patreon. That's it. No more. Just a dollar. And if you don't want to, that's fine. We appreciate you just showing up and watching our videos. We love each and every one of you and thank you for making this all possible.